Hi everyone, this is Ben with Amtex Equipment. You're looking at the latest design of the Inferno called Inferno Core. This is the bigger brother for Inferno 500, which is a very popular truck mount sliding that we built. The reason going with a much larger engine, about 10 more horsepower, because we are looking into adding generators in some of our system and also pump out. By having a generator on board, an extra horsepower would need it on the engine. That's why the engine horsepower from the 27 horse has been increased to a 37 horse. That way the engine will be able to power the ferocious 4.7 blower in the back, creating 570 CFM to a size 10 coupler, which can handle 150 horsepower. At the same time, powering a 2900 watt generator for the operator to be able to either do any kind of uh, rotary cleaning or or also using the pump out system on board, which is connected to the generator as you see in the back. Now this unit pressure system, as usual, it is provided by Hypro, which on top you can see this is the largest pump that we use on our carpet cleaning truck mounts. It's a 4.8 gallon per minute pump rated up to 2,500 PSI, but the PSI that we allowed for that pump to go up on this design is not more than 2,000, which should be enough to do 600 PSI for two technician or one technician do carpet, 1200 PSI for one or two technician do tile and grout, and of course, much lower PSI to do uh, furniture cleaning. Now the unit, as we go around, it is equipped with our newest model of tank, which is called self-washable tank. This unit, it does not need any kind of attention as far as cleansing, cleaning its tanks, because the unit will do it for you to a valve system that you're gonna see on the left side of the machine. As the camera goes around, you'll be able to see. A very simple valve system. As you see the yellow valve, it is in off position, but once the machine is off and if you turn it on, it uses either the water from the fresh water tank on your truck mount or your, on your van or the garden hose to run the water through, through a three line into three different chambers and wash the tank for you automatically. Again, this has been with Amtex Equipment, bringing you a very short video introducing to you the latest model of the Inferno Core that we built, which is a 37 horsepower air cooled engine from Kohler, powering a two ferocious heat exchanger on top. The heat exchangers on this design are identical to the Inferno 500, but they do provide 30% more heat production. Why? Because of this ferocious engine firepower compared to a 27 horse. You have hell coming out of those pipes and into the heat exchanger system, so there was no need to make the coiling any bigger than what they are. They do provide continuous 200 plus degree for any type of cleaning, single or dual action. It depends on your flow. As I'm going around, I'm showing you a 360 degree view of this machine. Hope you like it. And right before we shut off the camera, we're gonna turn the baby on so you'll be able to hear the sound of this monster. This unit will be produced the way the look of it is for 2018, 19, 20, and 21. If you notice, also you do see the new design of the heat, heat exchanger covers on each side, left and right. So let's go and turn the baby on. As you turn the key on, you do have your dash lights up in the front. That way it allows the technician to be able to read the, uh, the gauges at night. Your left side gate shows the vacuum, zero to minus 30, of course. The best uh, inch production for this uh, machine is gonna be anywhere from 10 to 14 inch of mercury because the the blower is designed to do max 15 inch, which quite it is quite bit of suction for that much of a CFM. Now you do have a triple design um, heat system because as I explained to you, this unit is extremely hot. So we have to keep an eye on the temperature of the pump to keep it under 140 to 50 degree. But when it comes to the preheat, which is your left heater, we want to get it to go up to about 230 degree, not more than that. But when it comes to the production, there is no limit. But of course, all of these three temperature gauges are controlled by a thermostatic control on the left, which you can set it anywhere from cool all the way up to 250 degrees. You do have a dual pour system in the front as far as your uh, uh, vacuum. There is one on the left and one on the right. They could be combined together 
with a Y-shaped type of connector that we send out for you to be able to do 500 feet of hose, no problem. Your chemical meter is a self-prime on the left. And of course you do have one, two, three different pressure outlet. Two could be used for the technician, one could be used also for the third person doing any kind of pre-treating or any type of uh, uh, floor uh, spotting prior to the cleaning. To the right side, you see the pressure gauge, which is designed from zero to 2,000 PSI. The uh, safe operating uh, PSI for this machine will be 600 PSI on the carpet, 1,200 on tall and ground, and you can push it up about 16 to 1,700 to do initial power washing. Your engine exhaust come in the front. And of course, you do have your water in the front, in, in the front, just like any other machine we have. But of course, you three lights, which of course, right now, the green light is off because there's no water present. But the red light shows your discharge. That means we have, since we have set the thermostat on lowest, it turns the light on. But once I set up the thermostat higher, if you notice, the red light goes out. The yellow means you have, you have left your key on. This, we're about to go ahead and start it. That way you'll be able to hear this baby before we shut down and say goodbye from Houston. All right, we're going to go ahead and close the choke a little bit. Crank it. Open the choke. This unit is so powerful. It's engine firepower combined with the two ferocious heat exchanger that we have. This unit maintains 160 to 180 degree at idle. Once you increase the RPM to a higher RPM, that's when the hell start breaking loose. So our recommended speed for this big monster to do single action, not more than 2,700 RPM. And when it comes to dual action, no more than 3,000 for safety. Again, this has been with Amtex Equipment, bringing you the all new Inferno Core. This is the latest model that we're gonna have to put out. We're putting out for 2018, 19, 20, and 21. Hope you like it. Now the unit would require water to run. The reason you see without any water is running because we have disconnected water sensor on board. We're not doing any damage to the machine. Why? Because we do have five gallon water on our water box on the right. But we can't, we're not gonna be doing this for too long. So we're gonna go ahead and start shutting down the camera. Thank you for your time. I'm looking forward to see you again more and more with new design of truck miles. Ben with Amtex Equipment, signing off from Houston. Thank you.